だね。Here we are at the end of February the 1st. It's already after midnight because I distracted myself finishing off editing stuff for the January vlog. And yeah. What? Today's been a very exciting day.、Um, I was able to find some awesome people in my new.、Um, Ward for the LDS church here in、uh, Middle Georgia because my records have been just kind of like all over the place for the last few years. And so, yeah, that was fun to kind of virtually find people and kind of get to know a little bit about a few of them.、Um, also, Like, kind of tangenting because it is LDS related.、Um, I did start my first audiobook for this month as well today. And I'm swarmed by cats already. But, Uma, Alice, Neo, and Ace who opened the door for them all to come in.、Um, so, yeah, I started my first audiobook today, which happened to end up being. Hollow City, which is the second book in the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series. And I just like flipped out because as soon as I started playing the audiobook, all I heard was that it was being narrated by Kirby Hayborn, who is like my favorite LDS actor. And I just like, excuse me while I fangirl over my Instagram. And he freaking commented on the post too, like an hour ago. So I'm like that Kermit gif right now, just eternally flailing inside right now. It's a thing. Also, I am now desperately in need of re watching some good old LDS movies. So I was planning to do it tonight, but it's probably too late now. So, probably tomorrow,、um, I need to see just what all I have access to. I know I have a few of the movies on DVD, but I just need to go and track them all down. So, like the RM Singles Ward, the first and the second one, God's Army, I need to rewatch. The other side of heaven again soon, though I did recently we watched that a few months ago. And you need to find the sequel though, because I haven't had a chance to watch that yet. Also, there was something else I was mentioning Home Teachers, that's another one.、Uh, the Pirates of the Great Salt Lake. There's some other ones, but like, it's been a hot minute, okay? And I think those are just all the ones that I currently have. Though I don't think I have God's Army out of those ones.、Um, so, yeah. That's the thing I'm looking, excited, like, looking forward to. it. I'm very excited. I was already like, meaning to because there was something else that,、um, right the other day, I was also posting because I spotted Kirby in a, CA, a CVS commercial. And I was also like turning my brain to, oh yeah, I haven't watched those movies in forever. I need to rewatch re them. <laughs> so yeah, this kind of like reiterated the fact that I'm in need of a rewatch.、Um, so yeah.、Um, but anyway, moving on. This kind of tangents back on into just generally my February TBR. Because h e l p l e s City was not originally part of it. But none of my original TBR that I had planned had an audiobook available. So, I digress. So, anyway,、um, other than Hell of City, we have three books carrying over once again.、Uh, 
though at least one of them is not the one that we started with. So we've got Be Mighty. Again, we're going to get through there some, someday. Um, and then we have Everything I Thought I Knew by Shannon Takauka, which is an arc that came out in October, but a lot of things happened between October and the end of the year, and I didn't get to it. At least not very far into it, as you can see, it's really close to the beginning. Um, so yeah, there's this. And then we have the book that I've been primarily reading, which is of course The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue by V.E. Schwab, which I'm about halfway-ish through at the moment. I think I'm on page 244 now. No, 244 is page number I'm on for Hollow City. This one, I am on 174. Luna! Why do you do this? As I was saying, before the cat started knocking things off of my desk, across the room, just out of reach. Um, after Invisible Life of Ed Rue, I also have this to carry over from January, though I haven't started it yet, which is of course Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone to start my annual reread. And then last but not least, the new just randomly picked entry, and I do mean randomly, is Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Broch. And honest to God, like, if this doesn't just make me think of the internet in 2010-2011 era in a book, then I don't know what to do. So yeah, all of the things. It's, yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to that, and that should hopefully be like a fairly like quick-ish read because it is technically like a graphic novel comic thing so yeah those are my books for February and before it gets any later I'm gonna go ahead and kind of settle in for the night because I have not really like sat down other than like the brief like 10 minutes I took to eat my dinner um, I think that's gonna be it, and see you tomorrow, oh, just, you know, throughout the month, because here we go on a whole new month. Hey fellow bookworms, this is the Pretty Cover Book Challenge. Show me your prettiest book in black. Your prettiest book in blue. Your prettiest book in white. Your prettiest book in yellow. Your prettiest book in red. Your prettiest book in pink. Your prettiest book in purple. Your prettiest book in brown. And your prettiest book in green. It is now the end of the day on the 2nd of February. <laughs> Cats are running around. Um, I just came downstairs for the night. I know it's already after 10 o'clock to eat a banana and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner because I decided, oh, I'll just check on the upload of the January vlog to make sure that everything uploaded to YouTube correctly since I um, just have it up scheduled for the 12th. 13th, whichever the Friday is next week, um, and just work on description, tags, all that set up to make sure it's all ready to go, and ended up getting started on um, editing the video after that while it was uploading because I had to try and re-upload it, and for some reason it's only got like five seconds of like the end screen that I created instead of like 15 
so it was a hassle to try and create like the actual like hyperlinks on it I don't know what happened it did the same thing the second time that I uploaded the video I'm really not gonna fuss too much with trying to do it a third time because it's just it's two hours plus like two and a half hours per upload and the the video itself is fine I've checked like the copy that I actually rendered out onto my computer it's fine it has the whole rest of the time but for some reason the final one on YouTube doesn't want to give me the full ending so whatever it's just a shortened end screen, so I'm not going to hassle too much more with it. I'll just hope that it does better the next time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so there's that. Um, also today I got about 20, paid, 20 minutes worth of reading done in The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Not great, I know, but... <laughs> Uh, that is what I managed to read, and then instead of listening to the audiobook today for Hollow City, I caved and watched through a couple of LDS films during the second half of my shift. So I watched um, The Best Two Years with Kirby Hayborn, <laughs> and then I watched God's Army, and that pretty much took me to right about the end of the shift actually so yeah um yeah i think that mostly covers everything um also i came downstairs to these two pink packages from Lipsy. so i have this giant bag because uh, i did order a mystery bag um and also like redeemed some of my ipsy points so i've got that big thing and i've got my regular ipsy and supposedly one of the mystery bags that i ordered didn't actually get in with this order for some reason i just got the email today but basically i ordered two of my favorite bags as duplicates which is um one is going to be this one which was January 2020 because I got this right before I started the Invisalign so this has got all my Invisalign stuff in it and then I got a duplicate of the October bag from this past fall um, because it looked super like witchy and like magic themed and stuff and I wanted another one because it's so pretty anyway I'm going to open these up I'm gonna eat and settle in for the night. This is the birthday book tag. Go to your top shelf, count along until you reach the number that correlates with the month you were born, and show us that book. Go to your next shelf and count along till you find the day you were born, and show us that book. Show us a book that has the color of your birthstone on the cover. Show me a book where the main character has the stereotypical personality traits associated with your sign. Show me a book that resembles your sign's element on the cover. Show me a book that was published the year you were born. Now show me a list of books or bookish things that you hope you get for your next birthday. So it is Thursday, which means it is Aaron Day, which means I am about to head into the old Walmart to check and see if maybe we have obtained the new heritage stuff yet because there are some of the things in the expansion for this year that I would really like to have and to try out but I haven't seen any of it yet except for um, when I was here a week or two ago they had one single bottle of the tinted dry shampoo and that was the only new part of the line that they had which isn't something I needed, so. But we go in today and find out if it's here yet. It took right about a month-ish, I think, for the line to even show up at all last year when it first launched either. So, I mean, it's about on par, but we'll see. And then we go across the street and do groceries at Kroger. And yeah. 
I have to work on uh, making sure the trash is ready to go out to the street by the time Ed gets home from work today. So, gonna be some fun times today. Yeah. I still think this, this self-made mask has continued to be pretty much my favorite. Mostly because, like, it covers so much more because it accidentally made it bigger than I had originally planned. But I kind of like it. But it doesn't feel like it's falling off my face. But it does, like, tuck really well under my glasses. So that's good. So yeah. Now we go in. But... Since I got the vinegar from the store while well, I did groceries, I'm gonna try out this <laughs> microwave cleaner. I just filled it up. So like once you remove the hair and the head, like there's the lines on the back for the vinegar and the water so you get the proportions right. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it in this sucker. Try and clean things up a bit. in there for scent purposes. Okay. Seven minutes. Tim Tracker vlogs and working on <laughs> I have actually been doing better than last month because I've literally I've been trying a new routine basically this past week where I have been physically reading during work for the first like two hours basically when I log in at 9 until I take my first break at 11, so that's like when I at least do some sort of progress so that even if I am busy after work, I've gotten some kind of progress in on The Invisible Life of Addie Lurie or later whatever other book I decide to be physically reading. And then during my lunch break, I will watch something, whether it be YouTube usually or the last couple days I will technically just in one day actually I ended up watching two LDS films on YouTube um, I watched the best two years and God's Army which I think I already mentioned actually but and then the rest of the time uh, unless I start getting too sleepy to like stay awake at my desk and then I'll usually take a break on my neck like take a nap on my next break um, but then I try to listen to the audiobook and I'm still working on Hollow City but I am almost done with it um, so yeah I think I'm like two-thirds or three-fourths of the way done with that already after only like two days maybe three of listening to the audiobook um, but I am still gonna kind of keep to some of the other things of my old routine from January just to make sure like I don't want to sit there and just fully be just reading constantly and not doing other things because there are other things that I really like doing and I should make more time for, um, such as the puzzles thing because they are really nice, but um, yeah, 
Um, sometimes I am going to do audiobook while I do my puzzle, but for right now, I am still watching some Tin Tracker vlogs in the background while I work on it. Um, so yeah. Today was kind of a little bit of a busy day. I did not eat till like 5.30 this afternoon. That was the first I got to eat all day because I woke up around, uh, I think it was like 8.45 and just kind of chilled in bed for a few minutes. Um, and then I was catching up on stuff with my on my phone and I think I was talking with my mom for a bit uh, on Facebook. And then I had to take a small break because I actually had a video call with the sister missionaries from my new ward set up in Macon here. Uh, so that was like 15-20 minutes I think that we were talking. Um, so that was that. And just kind of getting a feeling of some of the things that have changed since I last was like super active getting to go into church on a weekly basis because so unfortunately that hasn't happened in a while um but yeah I'm basically talking about how COVID has actually helped with things because even though work is like having to work a lot of Sundays is probably the reason why I stop going quite as often um at least now I can actually like stream sacrament meeting while I'm working so I can have it on to actually like feel like I'm participating again um, but it will be nice when things are actually able to go back to having like actual activities and stuff for church because that's something I desperately miss from church is just the pure unadulterated social life that comes with it because I loved it and I miss it. Even when my mom and I are like talking about how we are anxiously awaiting the day when we can go back to church together. So be a nice time. Um so yeah after that I worked on a couple things with uh making sure videos were all prepped for the next couple weeks to go online and I have the first video going live tomorrow at noon so that's like super exciting so I still have to figure out what I'm going to film this week for the next video so I have three videos ready but I need the fourth one and I'm a little torn on what I want to do but we shall see between tomorrow and Saturday to figure that out so that I can edit it and get it uploaded during the week. Um, so yeah, um, so I'm on my computer for a little bit um, and then went to do groceries and errands. So I went to Walmart first to check on heritage stuff and while they did have a few more uh, of the new products from the new expansion of the line. They didn't have everything. So like they don't have the fragrance free stuff yet or the new color save for purple shampoo conditioner stuff. Um, but they did have two things that I was really looking forward to. Um, one is the split end rescue and the second one is the uh, day two refresher. So I grabbed each of those. I'm gonna try them out. Um, so yeah. And then I did some of the grocery shopping while I was at Walmart uh, to kind of check through things. And I got some more puzzles. I got a couple, um, I got two of the Thomas Kincaid Disney puzzles. And each of them were a pack of four puzzles each. So I've got, um, I think one of them has uh, Mickey and Minnie in front of the Hollywood Studios theater, the Chinese theater thing, um, where they used to have the great movie ride. And there's one for Sleeping Beauty, there's one for Tangled, um, Little Mermaid, 
Peter Pan. Um, there should be another Beauty and the Beast one. And then like two more. There was like four different variety like puzzle sets like that. Um, so I had a really hard time deciding. <laughs> Um, but of course I couldn't get them all at one time. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling to remember which ones were the ones that I finally ended on because I debated a lot and honestly it wasn't 100% like sold on my final choices. I was just like, just, just pick. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I'll get to do those soon. Um, yeah, and yeah, I'm just... After Walmart, I did the other half of the groceries at Kroger and came home and made dinner after I put everything away and then was literally in shock that it was already 5.30 because I thought it was still like maybe 4 because I think I left Kroger at like 3.30ish. Um, but yeah, they went by fast. <laughs> um, so yeah, even though it's now probably like... Let's see, what time is it? Oh my god. I thought it was like 9.30. No, it's 10.15. So, since the only meal I ate was a chicken sandwich with like a couple of onion rings, when I got home from groceries and everything, I went ahead and tossed one of the pre-made uh, salads I grabbed at Kroger. Um, it's the BLT mix and then instead of the avocado ranch that came with it I put in the Olive Garden dressing that they sell in the bottle at the, st at the store. So yeah, that will be my tide me over till morning because <laughs> I forgot to eat properly today. So yeah, I'm gonna eat. I'm probably going to read more of the um, Invisible Life of Ida Rear while I eat. And then I'll go back to working on the puzzle and watching Tim Trucker. Because right now I'm in late August, August 23rd of 2013. So, still got a ways to go. Yeah. I am now going to stop bothering on because it's been 10 minutes. And get to work. It's quarter to three in the afternoon, and I may only just now be getting out of bed and doing things for the day. The day was just rough. <laughs> so I first woke up around like eight something when Ed was leaving for work, and I checked my phone briefly, and then was just so tired, so... After I just checked to see if there was anything like pressing, went back to sleep, woke up like 12 something and kind of got up for a bit, but then literally just so tired. I don't even remember what I was doing. All I know is that I was full on dreaming again and woke up at like 1.30 and then just did not have the will to get up yet, so I just stayed on my phone for another hour. Yep. It's been that kind of a day. But now, I am up and I'm having a very late breakfast of my lemon punchki that I bought from groceries yesterday because Mardi Gras. Um, yeah. And some chocolate milk. Um, trying to decide what I want to do for filming this weekend. If I want to like do a thing where I go out to Got Walls, maybe buy some books and just like do a little like visual thing, or do like a book challenge thing. Or it's like a scavenger hunt tag thing. We shall see. I've put a poll on Instagram. We shall see if anything happens from it. 
I also have to go back to the store today because I did not realize that I was supposed to get hamburger buns because Ed bought a grill and wants to make hamburgers this weekend. So I got the ground beef for him to make them, but he didn't tell me he wanted burger buns. But usually we just use sliced bread because now most of the time we just don't use all the bread before it goes bad, so there's no point in buying separately. And also, I just straight up didn't realize that we were almost out of bread to start with. I thought we still had like half of a loaf because we usually go through it at a slower pace. So, I need to get bread and buns this week for once. So, yeah. Um, so, I didn't read yesterday either because um, my stupid face. I uh, forgot my book on the edge of Ed's desk when I went to talk with him before I came upstairs with my food. So I just turned off the camera, went to go pick up a book, only to find out that it was not there. So I just ate first and then retrieved the book and just went back to doing my puzzle. But I'm going to read now while I eat, so. Or at least attempt to without getting too messy because it is a powdered donut, after all. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to start getting things done because I also need to do the litter boxes today and clean the microwave. <clears throat> Finish it at least because I didn't get a chance to do a whole lot with it um, the other night when I put the little Angry Mama cleaner in because uh, I was basically just doing what I could while my food was cooking. Um, and I need to sweep and make sure the bathrooms are decent and yeah busy times but at least I have today and tomorrow to get things done I just need to make sure that you do get things done <laughs> so uh, yeah that's kind of the update for now so finish my breakfast and take a brief break to go and grab the mail. We have a couple things that came in. Still waiting on the grill to be delivered. It still just says by nine o'clock. Okay, but whatever. Usually UPS is better about giving you a time frame, but not this time apparently. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, what did show up though at least is Leo's new collar because that boy could not keep it on worth a darn when he first got him the collar he has now and literally would get his lower jaw stuck underneath it trying to pry it off and chew it off all the time and that was after the period of time where he literally couldn't like he would master taking it off within 20 minutes and like the best was half a day that we managed to keep it on. Um, so then we just stopped putting it on him for the last while because he just literally kept getting his jaw stuck. Even though it was properly sized on him, we kept checking, we kept adjusting as we needed but, and then had to stop because they're literally like, couldn't, like, it was just a whole thing. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, there's a whole, whole lot of issues. Alice was fine from pretty much the start. She didn't really have any qualms with the collar. Ace and Luna were pretty much the same as Alice where they were pretty fine with it more or less. Luna, the only issue we had with her when we first first gave her her collar because she was younger than Ace because we didn't know we were going to be keeping Ace at the same time. Like the bell drove her crazy. So we took that off after like a day or two. Um, but like we haven't tried the belt on for any of the rest of them because we knew that would probably be driving them crazy and we don't need the bell sound anyway because none of them go up. So, Luna, are you okay, Luna? Are you okay? Are you alright? Hopefully she'll be okay. She seems to be doing fine. 
That was an unexpected turn of events. I don't even know where I was at with things. <clears throat> Collars, I think. Anyway, he's finally tolerated having a collar on him, but with how much he was, Leo was chewing on his collar before we stopped having him wear it, he had literally like managed to chew through where there was just like an open flap on it. So it wasn't as strong as it needed to be for one, and two, he just kept trying to chew on that loose strap, so we had to cut that off. And then just generally now it was less strong because he had literally like, there's like two layers-ish somehow and like this and he had split the layer. So it just was not good anymore. So we have a brand new one. So once we give Alice and Leo their flea medication for this month, hopefully tonight, um, we'll go ahead and get this new one put on him. And pretty much I just have to change out this little moon cat charm and put his tag on in there instead. I'm actually hold on to the little charms like these from uh, their first set of colors because your girl gonna make them into earrings because they're cute. Don't touch. Hey shish. Hey. 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 Ace! Hey! Ace! Come on. Okay, so yeah, there's the collar. And then the other thing I got in the mail are these, which I've been trying to get for a little while, but they didn't have the Stars Hollow ones the last time I saw them. Um, when I first came across them, I should say. Um, so yeah, they're little. Stars Hollow Hotel Keychains. Oh, so yeah, I got the two packs, so I'm going to mail one off to my mom in New York so that we can have matching ones. And put the other one on my keys. But yeah, I thought they were cute. And my mom and I love Gilmore Girls and used to watch it together a lot, so. I'm excited to send it off to her and see what she thinks. I'm also struggling not to tell her ahead of time, but we're going to have to keep this one a secret. Anyway, um, yeah. Still reading Invisible Life of Adagaru. Did actually read while I was eating this time. I didn't lie this time. Um, we're on page 190. So, slowly getting there, almost halfway. But it's really good. Very interesting. It's just also hard when I do have to take breaks from it to get back into it because there's so many other things to do between I was editing videos and filming stuff and doing the puzzle yesterday and I have to clean later so I can't spend all afternoon reading it today either. We're going to read another chapter or two before we go ahead and start cleaning, just to make sure we get some progress in, at least for the day. And then perhaps listen to Hollow City while I clean. That's another habit I need to get back into, is listen to an audiobook while I'm cleaning, so that I can also get some reading progress in that way. Anyway, I think that's the update for now. Later. Ship at Publix pretty quickly. Um, I also ended up getting a card to, with the keychain I mentioned earlier, as well as a York patty because it is my mom's favorite. So, yeah. I'm gonna quickly write stuff up and drop it into the mailbox on the way home. I'm trying to cool off a little 
little bit onto the fan with some cream soda. So I just finished filming a video for this week. Um, I had put up a poll on Instagram whether to do book shopping or uh, do I have that book challenge. But um, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> I ended up not waking up till like 1.30. And so yeah. What with the rest of the cleaning I had to do today and... I just now realized I didn't even finish that because I didn't do the litter boxes yet. So I'll have to do that after work tomorrow. <laughs> um, I just didn't get a chance. Um, I was going to do book shopping since that was what some people did vote on uh, primarily, but just unfortunately it just didn't quite work out. Um, well, with the timing of it, since Cowboys closes at like 6 or 6.30. Yeah. So instead, um, since it was pretty late, because I, I literally only got to doing the video maybe like 7.30, 8-ish. Um, which is why I'm still kind of in shock that it's only 8.30 now. So actually it was probably maybe like 7.15 maybe when I started filming. Um, but anyway... I decided to go with something that's a little bit more low key since it's in the evening um, and did the how well do I know my books challenge instead. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, and that took about 30-40 minutes to film, so yeah, it was fun. Um, and I was able to figure out a way to put together like a new camera angle so that you kind of see most of my bookshelves since they're a little bit like all over the room. Um, and with them being so short, it's not as easy to film me like standing in front of them and like going back and forth like a lot of people do for that challenge. So I made it work. Um, so yeah. I did get a good bit of reading done in Invisible Life of Addie the Rude today as well. So I read for about 45 minutes while I ate my breakfast slash lunch <laughs> um, today. So yeah. And um, I just hit the, the bombshell section, <laughs> shall we say. Um, which was very interesting. And I had a guess for where the, like, twist was gonna go, but I was kind of pleased with the fact that I was kind of wrong in a different angle. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I'm really loving the story, but... Still having to make a few times where I, you know, make sure to put aside that little bit of time every day to make sure I'm making sufficient progress into it because it has been a hot minute since I started the book. But I'm also kind of like, I'm liking that it's kind of stretched out a little bit too. I'm trying not to let myself fall too deep into that hole where it becomes a slump. <laughs> um, but yeah, things are going good. I like it. Um, and I made some hamburger helper tonight, uh, the crunchy taco one for dinner. And had a little bit left over for work lunch tomorrow. So that'll be good. Um, well actually probably, well, I don't know. We'll see. It may be lunch tomorrow or Monday because I also have Ed working in the garage at the moment on putting together the grill that was delivered yesterday so that he can make burgers for us tomorrow. So that may actually be the lunch and maybe have the hamburger helper for dinner? Or as I just said, just wait till Monday. We'll see how my appetite feels. And depending on what time he even cooks, honestly. Uh, so yeah. Um, but I think I got pretty much everything other than the letter boxes done for this week. So, things are going well. And I'm having to keep an eye on the weather so that hopefully I can go back up to Atlanta to visit people on Thursday most likely is what we're looking at right now because while there's just barely a chance, I think it's like maybe 15% chance that we'll have like 
rain and snow showers sometime on like Friday-ish in the middle of the night or something like that down here. Um, Atlanta, they're supposed to be getting like uh, rain turning into some snow Thursday night overnight and then have it be just a mix of cold rain and wet snow the next morning and turning into like a slush the next day. So hopefully Thursday itself remains clear enough for me to still go and visit. But we'll see. And most likely I'll be visiting with Lisa or Eleanor. Um, I might be able to meet Eleanor on her lunch break because she'll be working. Um, so pretty much the time I have to leave town and head back home for the day. Um, but I haven't seen her in like a month or so now. Actually, maybe like more than that. When did I last see on her? Maybe November? I don't know. This is what happens when I can only visit people like once a month. One, because of COVID and two, because of schedules. But I cannot go to my family's house itself. Um, because there is potential risk of COVID because um, my sister-in-law has had two people at her work um, who have tested positive lately. She tested and got negative, but just to be on the safe side, we're going to stay away from the family house for this like routine and check back in on how things are before planning my next trip in a month. Similarly to how I've not seen my sister Nikki since, um, I think, no October or November. Um, because she got COVID, like, right before she and her kids, um, well, she finished her last semester of school and the kids just got out of school right about the same time for their winter break. So, I have not seen her since November-ish now yes, I wanted to make sure she was fully clear and everything was fine before I see her any further but since that was like a week before Christmas that she came down with it and has been feeling better since around shortly after New Year's I don't know I have to just double check with her Make sure nothing else has been happening since she recovered before I go back there. So, we'll see. But I will be making a book shopping trip most likely while I'm there because I usually stop into Second and Charles um, and usually just do a private shopping trip for an hour or so before I head home for the day. So, it'll be an exciting time. In the meantime, we're going back to Tim Tracker and um, working on the puzzle. I didn't get a whole lot of progress in my week, but that's mostly because of the um, method that I'm currently using. But once I get a little bit more into like getting the individual areas started, it'll be interesting work it all out because since this is all rainbows and a lot of the same things in different areas it does make it a little bit more tricky compared to the puzzle I did before where it was like distinct patterns and stuff where I could narrow things down to like one maybe two areas in the puzzle so but I mean they're still fun and it's still pretty um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this here for now. Check back in tomorrow, probably. Um, yeah. Night.